It's morning rush hour in Tehran. Millions of Iranians are heading to work, but not many are women. Although they make up half the population, the United Nations and World Bank say only 16% of women are employed. Hoda knows this well. She's 26 and has been searching for a job for two years. The university graduate is losing hope and is now thinking of leaving Iran. It's a tough and bitter experience. I can almost say it's impossible to find a suitable job. It's a dream now. It's not just me. Many of my friends are also searching. Mostly they continue to study just for something to do with their time or they want to go overseas. It's very disappointing. Women make up almost 60% of university students. Iran's richest woman, Fatma Morghimi, says the government needs to make sure the country does not ignore their potential. It shows that in next future we have to find that about these percentages will be uh, supported to work in the society, to work in the, uh, their country and they have the responsibility for this. Many Iranian women blame cultural stereotypes and sexism for the fact they can't get jobs even when they're qualified. The UN says that means the views of women are not represented, especially in positions of power. In the case of uh, women in senior decision-making positions, uh, the onus really is on the, uh, the political parties and the political system to be bringing women up through. And, and I personally believe that out of sight is out of minds. Research shows Iran has made great strides towards gender equality in the last 30 years. It's increased life expectancy, raised the education level for girls and lowered maternal mortality rates. But for half the Iranian population without the ability to contribute to their country's future, that's still not good enough. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.